Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. We're dedicated to delivering quality auto parts, expert customer service, fast and free shipping, all backed by our 100% satisfaction guarantee. So visit us at 1AAuto.com, your trusted source for quality auto parts. In this video, we're going to be working with our 1996 GMC Sierra K1500. We're going to show you how to remove and replace your vehicle's CD player, which is remote mounted from the radio itself. If you like this video, please click subscribe. We have a ton more information on this truck as well as many other makes and models. And if you ever need parts for your car, you can follow the link down in the description over to 1AAuto.com. There are no tools required for this repair. Tilt your steering column to the lowest position. Turn the key to the run position, and our battery is disconnected. This will work either way. Put your foot on the brake and put the gear selector in the lowest position. You can then simply put your fingers behind the dash panel and carefully go around. Open the cup holder a little to get that clip out. and pop all the clips out. You gotta kinda scooch it forward and then pop that rear panel over the instrument cluster up so you can move it around a little. We'll then disconnect all of the electrical connectors behind our dash. Now this connector is a little tricky. You have this little T here on the top of the push button. That needs to be depressed to just the right level to sneak it under. And it's almost easier to just use a flat blade screwdriver, pry it down and back. You can then push down and release the connector from the four wheel drive selector buttons. Flip the panel out. and release the headlight switch connector as well. You can now remove the entire dash panel from the vehicle. Push down on the tabs for your CD player and pull it forward out of the dash. Disconnect the electrical connector. If you're installing an OE unit, reconnect it. Line up the tabs and push it back in until it locks. Reconnect the electrical connectors. Don't forget to do the headlight switch on the other side. Line the dash back up and pop all of the retainers back into place. Remember to pull the cup holder out because of that lip. And you're good to go. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.